A Hillsborough County jury has found Ronnie O'Neill guilty of all counts against him, including two counts of first-degree murder, and now he's facing the death penalty. Tonight, an experienced trial lawyer not involved in this case is analyzing O'Neill's performance as he acted as his own attorney. Eight on your side is Jeff Patterson joining us now live in Tampa with more on that. So I'm, I'm sure a lot of people had opinions on how he did. What does this uh, gentleman say? Everyone from the actor and rapper Ice-T to everyone commenting on the WFLA Facebook page, Keith, a lot of people have opinions about this case. From his screaming opening statement to his angry closing argument, experienced trial lawyer Anthony Rickman says Ronnie O'Neill made mistake after mistake after mistake. By the time it's all said and done, you will see who is the mass murderer. This is the lasting impression people across the nation will have of convicted killer Ronnie O'Neill. From his screaming opening statement to his angry facial expressions to his hair. It's a huge problem. Trial lawyer Anthony Rickman says it was a big mistake for O'Neill to act this way. You have the person who's accused of a heinous murder, of two heinous murders, screaming at the jury, showing them that rage, that ire, that the government says that he acted with when he killed two innocent people. Rickman says juries constantly evaluate defendants in every case. And in O'Neill's case, the jury had a lot to see. This whole entire case has been tampered with and fabricated. When you look at, at how he presented himself throughout this case, pacing the courtroom, his body language, his gestures, his rage, his anger, the mood swings, he painted a picture of what he probably looked like when he committed these murders. Rickman says the evidence in the case was clear, but O'Neill's actions in court only helped prove the state's case against him. His whole demeanor throughout that case really hurt him. Anthony Rickman says Ronnie O'Neill also hurt his chances of appeal in many ways. For instance, he will not be able to argue in the future that he did not have an effective lawyer because he acted as his own counsel during this trial. O Rickman says that O'Neill also hurt his chances of appeal in other ways, and we'll have more on that coming up at 6. Live in Tampa, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.